Again, and good morning. It's Priscilla Batzel again in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And if you're joining me for the first time, welcome. And thank you to all the 37 plus thousand subscribers. And this is an 18 by 24 inch black primed canvas from uh, Artist Loft from Michaels. It has a stretcher bar in the back, which is good to hang on to, which is nice. Um, I'm not so sure. I'm always a big fan of the scratches and things it comes with. I didn't put them there. But uh, I've been doing puddle pours, alternating with squeeze bottles, which have my pre-mixed paints in them with uh, flow troll, usually at least half, sometimes deco art pour pouring medium, but always 10 to 20% GAC 800 by Golden to keep the paint from cracking. And I love my colors, but I'm thinking I want them to brighten up before they turn muddy and I have some white paint. And every time I use white paint with everything else, it makes the other things that I add to it sort of stay better and pop. I don't mind a double stream. <laughs> you get what you get. Sometimes I gotta clean my tops off as well as out and that will be of assistance. So that black canvas should be interesting if I can get my colors to stay. And I definitely intend on scooping some of them with my small scoop, which I did actually, oh, and I found a little one. Yay. So I've got two scoops. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a cereal commercial and uh, an unlevel surface to keep the rest of my paint on. I also have this really cool tool, which is um, basically part of packaging that I just cut off and I could scoop up and let go and I might try that. I haven't tried that yet. Um, it depends on how, how it goes, how things start out and where they're going when they're going because I, I've used the, um, the puddle pour technique alternating, like I said, but I haven't used my chains or my basting brushes and my inclination is to just go ahead and give myself permission to do that. Although I'm kind of thinking that I wish I had cleaned my tips out, although I did shake all my bottles. A good thing because it's been cold here recently and uh, I haven't been able to work in my studio for the last three or four days. It's been so cold. It's even been freezing at night. So what else? I want some other colors than I'm used to or that I've just been using that were in here. I'm not sure how they'll come out. I'm gonna throw some white pearl in there because it's the black canvas. I've just done it with white, with, mm, really? I've just done it with oh, white canvases primed with black, both black and white. And I want this pearl, so I'm gonna take a second. Thank you very much for your patience and ream out the tip and pull off the threads. Looks like it's time to really check that bottle out because the threads have grunge, paint grunge on them. But I want that pearl in there. And I want a lot of other stuff in there. I do want. <laughs> I want, I want. Ooh, I like how that's separated. That's cool. That just, just makes me want to do this again. All right, so other than maybe a little more blue and some black more drama and I like my Prussian blue with a decor pouring medium and it sells nicely and I said I wanted to be bright and then I covered everything with darker stuff so I'm just gonna go crazy with the yellow and see if I can keep it and where there's yellow for me there's orange so that's a lot we should be very very well off and I have a lot of green in here which means for me that I think that I want to add a lot of blue and I'm just going to ladle the white right in there. That is a deep metallic blue which for me requires the help of something brighter. <laughs> That's a lot of paint. I intend on using it and I may ribbon pour something onto this canvas. You never know. Um, we'll see what, I, what I'm in the mood for. And there we go. All right, here it comes. Put some paint. Oops, crash. <laughs> I am in a tight little space. If you don't know, watch the studio tour. Oh, there will be con another contest soon if uh, I haven't announced it yet. So if you donate through PayPal or Patreon on my link, you will um, find that. Oh, I put my glasses down. I found my glasses. Now that's a miracle. That's lovely. We got. 13 minutes left, maybe more because I set the timer soon. Um, the plan was, the plan is, the plan is to go ahead and let's take some spots 
and introduce you to my Princeton Catalyst Art Tools, which I am going to use to smooth the white and then add some color to. Well, do I really need to smooth that? I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll try everything. Or we'll plan on trying everything. So, what I've been doing is making puddle pours, and what I want to do is just dribble that sucker. Right over the edge. So let's see where it goes. And how the white works. And if the yellow stays, we won't know some of these things until tomorrow. But I do have more paint. And when you add paint to a paint flow, you flow more paint. So let's just flow some more paint and prove that. And that's cool because the deco art pouring medium, that navy blue stuff with all the cells, that is proving itself to be exactly what I expect it to be. And awesome. But I am going to use my edge catcher catch the paint falling down, pull it at the bottom, let those cells stretch out nicely. Maybe if they're stretched far enough, I'm put that aside for a second, add a little more paint along there because I don't think any white pearl is ever going to be a problem on a black canvas. I'm going to let it roll back in and then I'm going to let it fall down again. And I might even want to grab a much smaller edge catcher with no wet paint on it. Not that that one did. I've got lots of them. But I like the idea of um, encouraging the white paint on the black canvas. I don't know if you can see all that, but that's my plan. And I'm going to squeeze it back on so it goes right back into the design for the most part. And that's a neat little shape. Whoa! Right on the floor. Okay. We won't be using that again anytime soon because it's got sand in it now. All right, I'm going to bring this over here. And since I started there, I think I'm going to start... I'm going to go somewhere else. And I left my... Good for you, Priscilla. I left my Princeton Catalyst Spatula Art Tool, which are available on my Amazon link. Also, if you're there and you're familiar, have a look around if you go for my uh, OXO omelet turning spatula because it spreads paint miraculously well. So I've just learned that I like to add a little white paint to flow the paint even on a black canvas. And I'm not sure how this is going to go because this is kind of a new technique for me. I'm thinking I'm going to tip that way and so I'm inclined to just give myself a little more something something over there. I'm not going to get rid of that spatula yet. I'm going to use my, my sand, beach sand, sand shovel that I sometimes scoop with as a, uh, as a spoon rest like you would in the kitchen. And I'm going to scoop myself out some cool colors, I hope. Let's just ring for them and see what happens. Right out of my little scoop. Oh, some beautiful stuff is happening. Which will all be changing in a minute when I tip anyway. Might be a shame. Might not be. Might be just fine. <laughs> we'll see in a minute. I don't want to tip backwards first, but that's not what I planned for this. But I like the idea of what I'm doing, even if I lose some paint right onto ribs back there and I don't mind the white. The negative space is kind of neat. It's strange how some of it is running faster than the, than the rest. But having already stretched out most of that, I'm not losing too much. And I haven't lost too much here either. I'm going to wipe it up really quickly. 
because it's a black canvas and I don't want it on there. But if I want to keep it off, I better do something about that. Namely, grab another small edge catcher. In this case, it's just a flimsy piece of plastic. You can buy books of this stuff. And I like everything that's happening there, but I want it to go back down where it came from a little bit. So I'm thinking, whoa, I almost dumped my beautiful paint on the floor. Bad place to put that, evidently. So this is, like I said, a completely new technique, to me at least. And uh, I'm so not done playing with it. I'm just going to keep doing that, spatulating myself. I'm not making it really, really loose there, although that's some pretty loose paint, but it is pearl. I maybe shouldn't be wasting pearl, but I do use Anita's, and Anita's is very economical. I buy it at Hobby Lobby. It's also available on my Amazon link. I don't know if you can get every color there, but uh, usually if you try, you can link yourself up with stuff. And I appreciate all the shopping you guys are doing this Christmas. It may not be Christmas when people are watching this again, but... Um, Alright, so... Boy, this is making me think. I'm having to think. I've got beautiful colors. I don't want them flowing away. And I would like them to fill in some of that space. I also like the idea of trying something different. along the edge, or just trying different things in general. And that kind of worked. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> Where's my little edge catcher? Let's see if I can isolate that to a certain degree. Because where I have paint flowing onto the edge catcher, I can squeeze it over the side, cover the edges with the pattern, move it down some, Come on, hit that roll and... I hope you can see most of the stuff I'm doing because I'm, it's a fairly large canvas and I'm lifting it up. I have a desire for some brighter colors than what I've got there, so I'm just going to add them. some out of this cup. You do have to be a little patient with stuff falling out of the uh, scoop to get the full advantage of it. And it might be a good idea to hold your hand under there. Just have to go kind of slow. We only got three minutes left. I think this is going to be a part one and part two. Pretty sure, in fact. But in the meantime, if you don't make it back again, thank you for shopping my Amazon link. Check out my Teespring leggings. They're awesome. All you got to do is click on any one of the articles of clothing you see under there and it'll bring you to my store to see more cool stuff. I think this may have some dots in it too. I'm liking the idea of uh, just coming in with a dipped scoop from one end. And pulling out some more paint colors. I didn't really want to stop tipping yet. The whole point was to keep tipping, kind of, sort of. 
but if I tip too far, I'm going to lose a bunch of really neat stuff. But that doesn't stop me from playing, experimenting. So it's probably it kind of think, makes me think it's an all or nothing type, 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 yeah, <laughs> type gig. So I'll tell you before you're gone, because I have a few minutes, that if you like my videos, there are 350 of them. That's an estimate, because I never know at the time that I'm recording what there actually is and isn't. That's not completely accurate. I'm always pretty sure there's a lot of videos. If you like my work, go check it out, please. My work is for sale. If, if you should happen to be interested in that, just contact me and I'll give you an email and we can talk about it. Same thing for lessons. If you're somewhere within the vicinity of Spring Hill, they have hotels here if you're ever really in need. Yeah, I'm going kind of crazy with the old uh, tendrils. I can see that. change that color too much. It's a funky fish. It's going to change into something else in a minute. Maybe if I make little rings. I like having two different bowls to scoop out of. And I can say I am dribbling. I'm going to stop that and give it a bit of a tip. I want two things. So paint there. I love that blue. I don't have much more of it. I made it with um, Golden's Iridescent Pearl Fine and Arteza Blue. I don't know which blue, so don't ask me. <laughs> I might be able to find out. I don't know. I'd like to stop dribbling. I, keep, I just keep right on dribbling though. With me, I figure I can always cover it with something else. But I'm going to learn to hold my hand in the way. That's my warning shot. Give me a second, I'll turn that off. So, I guess what that means is, whatever I didn't tell you are, that I have YouTube albums, excuse me, I have albums of YouTube artworks, Facebook volumes one and two, and I'm starting a third one down at the bottom of the video description, along with Pinterest and Instagram links, should you be interested. I did, I did tell you I sell my artwork. I did tell you there are lots of videos. There's probably a contest going on. So if you donate through PayPal or Patreon, links are both underneath the video description and on my YouTube header. As long as I have your email, if I draw your name, you'll get to choose from one of three videos. Uh, video, right. Okay. I'm losing my stuff. It's time to go and come back in a moment. <laughs> I can't stop. I can't stop. So this is Priscilla Batzell. In Spring Hill, Florida, in the backyard at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, knocking things about, saying I love you guys, thanks for the comments, thank you very much for the contributions, everybody who's helped me out so far, I really appreciate that, and I will see you in a minute, if you come back, for part two. Bye for now.